What's up, Big Gumbo here? Good morning, it is Monday, and I have um, 74 orders to ship out, or 74 items to ship out, spread over 66 orders. So we got some multi-quantities in there. And I'm just gonna pull those and tell you what, you, what I sold over the weekend. Okay, first up is a multi-quantity order um, for three pairs of women's jeans. We sold a Lucky Brand, a Cut From The Cloth, and an Eileen Fisher for $43 plus shipping. 5788. It's pretty great because I don't really list women's jeans anymore. I just don't like selling them. 7704. These are all older. Eileen Fisher. It doesn't show me how the order breaks down, like what item was what price, but total $43.9014. Wow. 9014. I'm like, my brain is not working. It usually isn't that hard to pull the items out. Uh, an Athleta Skort, $5 plus shipping. 6342. Okay, it was an older um, style, not popular. An REI Co-op Quarter Zip Tech Shirt Women's sold for $4 plus shipping. 6684. Am I like challenged? It's right here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just waking up. A Nike USC Trojan shirt sold for $7.44 plus shipping. Six seven seven zero. No, I'm not making money on these four and five dollars sales. It's just getting my money back so I can buy higher sell through rate items. Either when I bought these items, they were higher sell through rate at the time and they slipped through the cracks or I made a bad listing, or I didn't research them enough and probably got them for real cheap at the bins. Because the bins, I kind of just throw everything in my bag that I think is gonna be good, and some of the time it's not. Um, that's why I've been focusing on South Ray more and more. Uh, Carhartt button-up shirt, $10 plus shipping, 6917. Just a basic button-up. A Polar Off Lorenz sweater, $14 plus shipping, 6919. A Royal Robins button-up shirt, six dollars plus shipping, six nine four four. And I'll get this question. I get it multiple times on every video. These are just six shelf wire racks from Home Depot or Lowe's. They're like one hundred and twenty-four dollars. And these boxes are uh, from Uline. They're eight by eight by twenty. And they cost like, the prices on Uline change depending on the demand for the item. Um, when I got them, they were like a dollar a piece. But I've looked on there again recently and they've gone up. So they, they but they fluctuate based on the demand. Um, what did I just pull? Six, nine, four, four. Uh, we sold the pair of REI hiking pants, women's, seven, one, eight, eight. Seven one nine zero. Seven two zero seven. Oh, am I just pulling orders and not telling you what's sold? Sorry, that's what I'll usually be doing. This is a Sagatuck button-up shirt. 
I don't even know what brand that is. That's definitely a Ben's thing. Uh, sold for seven dollars plus shipping. A Quicksilver shirt sold for fifteen eighty eight. Twenty percent off of fifteen eighty eight, so like twelve bucks plus shipping. Seven two zero seven. I found out that I've been spelling Quicksilver wrong for like three years. I thought it was Q U I C K. So I went back and I changed the um, titles on a lot of my old Quicksilver listings and now they're selling, of course. It does not have a C, it's just Q-U-I-K. So title is important. If you misspell the brand, even if it's correct in the drop down menu thing, it just probably won't sell. Um, an Everlane button down shirt sold for $12 plus shipping, 7330. So far, these are all things I wouldn't recommend getting if you're trying to keep a small store with a high sell through rate. But that's this rack is all going to be lower, crappier items because it's the oldest rack. Um, a San Francisco 49ers t shirt sold for $17.42 plus shipping. 7667. I got a crack crack open my drink all right and then our next order sorry about that there's gonna be noises um is a pioneer wear blazer it's one of the ones with like the black yokes on the shoulders and then this person also bought a Wrangler denim button-up shirt I've been picking up all the denim Wrangler shirts they flip for like 25 bucks really quick. And the denim Levi's ones, which you can get like 28, 34. And they're higher sell through rate in the bigger sizes. They're they're pretty good actually. I was, I passed on them for a long time. Not the jackets, just the, the shirts. Anyways, uh, $63 for both of those items plus shipping. 7709. 7709. Zero nine. Is this it? Uh, I must have put the custom skew in wrong because that's seven seven ten. But this is this the right item? I'll have to double check this one. I can see the yoke right there. I'll have to double check that. Anyways, the next one is yeah that Wrangler shirt one zero three eight eight. Sorry if this is boring, but uh, this is real life. Oh. Here it is. See these little denim guys here. Sell pretty quick. For Wrangler and Levi's. All right. Next up, we sold a pair of Carhartt cargo shorts for fifteen bucks plus shipping. Eight three one nine. I've been noticing that the shorts are starting to pick up already, even though it's pretty cold out still. Shorts are moving. A pair of Royal Robins women's pants, $11 plus shipping. Just some hiking pants. I really only pick up that brand at the bin, bins nowadays. A pair of CC Filson chino pants. These ones took a while to sell because they had like crotch stains. Still got $32 plus shipping. Had to wait for it though. Um, these are not the really good ones. I think the really good ones are called like the 10, 10 pan pants. Um, and they'll have like buttons here for suspenders. Those ones are like a hundred bucks. This one, these weren't the good ones. 8598. These are just like basic chinos with like cross stains. A pair of Eddie Bauer women's Capri pants sold for $12 plus shipping. 8682. It's the bins, I pick up all the Eddie Bauer, all the Columbia, all the Royal Robins, all the Orvis, all the like lowest end hiking stuff or outdoor kind of stuff, 
I pick up all of that because some of it'll sell for five, it'll slip through the cracks, but most of it you can get around 10 or $12 for. This one has been in my store forever. I even relisted it, still it sucked. It's a Territory Ahead women's dress. I don't like selling dresses. Um, and I probably listed it poorly. This one sold for only $7.40 plus shipping, 8713. I just avoid dresses now. I actually listed one yesterday though from this company called Cut Loose. I found it at the bins the other day. At the bins, I think I'll still take the chances on the dresses like that, but I'm not gonna pay for them at the thrift because I don't really know what I'm looking at. A pair of Travis Matthew shorts sold for $16.50 plus shipping. Eight 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 six. Oh, these ones are cool. They have like flowers on them. Sold a Lululemon t-shirt for $26.25 plus shipping. Eight, nine, three, six. This is one of those basic stretchy shirts. Excuse me, I got a little bit of allergies here. Um, a pair of Nike women's soccer shorts sold for eleven dollars plus shipping. Eight nine six five. I paid like four dollars a pair for like sixty of these, and they're very very slowly selling. <laughs> I had to drop the price. I had them listed at like eighteen dollars, and I sold a couple. And it's just taking way too long. So I'm selling them for like cheap. They're all new with tags too. They're just like crappy, like what high school kids would wear. I think I sold another one for like five bucks today. No, seven bucks on another pair. Um, a Columbia button up shirt for $19 plus shipping. Um, 9072. This one had fish on it. I always pick up the ones with the fish on them. Cause yeah, you can get around 20 bucks for those. A pair of Prana Larissa Knicker shorts, bad title. Um, sold for $16 plus shipping, women's, they're women's. Uh, 9214. Here's the other pair of Nike shorts that sold for seven dollars nine two four seven. I just want to get rid of these. A pair of Mac Weldon pants sold for twenty five dollars plus shipping. Thought I was gonna get more for these. Nine three eight three. I'd still pick them up again for sure though. Mack Weldon is really solid. Even for just like their plain t-shirts, I can get like 20 bucks. A Scotty Vest vest sold for $79 plus shipping, um, 9448. This brand is really good for pretty much everything that they make, men's and women's. I sold a pair of women's joggers for like $70 before. Uh, Carhartt bib overalls, terrible size, size 50 by 32, 9484. They sold for $30 plus shipping, 9484. Ah. I got like seven pairs of these and I've just been slowly selling them. For around thirty to forty-five dollars, whatever they send. A dragonfly shirt sold for ninety-five or sold no sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. The SKU is ninety-five one three. Sometimes you'll come across these like 
polyester button-up shirts with like flames on them and dragons and maybe a motorcycle. They are worth buying if you get them on the cheap, even these like kind of no-name brands. Um, just put like 90s biker, um, what did I put? Y2K, polyester chopper flames. A foot joy polo shirt sold for $12 plus shipping. 9565. <sighs> okay. A Fox Racing t shirt sold for twelve fifty plus shipping. Nine six eight seven. Boom, just a basic shirt that has a little Fox logo. Uh, I don't pick up Fox as much in the regular thrift, but if you find it in the bins, it can be pretty solid. Or like under three bucks. Uh, Canali button-up shirt. It's like an Italian designer brand. Um, a button-up shirt sold for $14 plus shipping. 9735. Shut up! That's what the logo looks like. I believe their suits, according to Thrift Life, their suits are pretty good. I don't do suits. I do blazers. I don't do full suits. I rarely do blazers or sport coats. A Lucky Brand crew neck sweatshirt sold for $12 plus shipping. 9871. And it's 7-1. Just a cheap little sweatshirt. Probably ship out first class, so I'll probably make a buck or two on the shipping. I do flat rate for like women's sweatshirts. I charge $7.50 for men's. I charge $8.30. Um, for women's pants, I charge $7.50. For men's pants, I also charge $7.50 unless they're jeans, in which case I charge $8.30. Pair of Ariat jeans sold for 20% off of $48.88, so like $38, something like that. No, $40. $9.88.5. What were you? $9.88.5. It's gone missing. This is probably the wrong custom skew. Let's open it in the background and look at the photos. So we'll take a look at the photos and see um, if we got a different custom skew here. Hopefully I included it. Not, oh, what does that say? So I probably did sell similar. That's one of the things I hate about selling similar is I mess up. This one is 10430, so it's right here. So that's how you can find it. One way you can find it if it's lost in this inventory system. And the other way would be, um, you look at the date that it was listed and you go to your active listings and you find that chunk. You find the custom SKUs, all the custom SKUs that were listed on that date, and then you go to them and you just manually look for it there and it's, you can always find it one of those two ways. There's like three different ways to find it. 997, 9997. It's an Ariat shirt sold for 1999 plus shipping. 9997, where are you? <clears throat> it's a women's. <sighs> Not great. Men's is definitely better, but I still pick up all the women's area that I find. Um, pair of 511 Tactical Cargo Pants sold for $20 plus shipping. 100, no, 100, 10,057. Just some beiges. In different sell-through rates, these have different, or in different sizes, these have different sell-through rates. And 
when I checked, when I bought these, it was 100%. It was like two weeks ago. A built t-shirt, new with tags, sold for $22 plus shipping. Been in my store for like a couple weeks. I thought it would fly. I priced it at like 29. Took an offer for 22 though. I have like three more. 10135. Here's another one I, see, the one I sold is a white one, but I did sell similar off of this um, burgundy one. So the white one has the wrong custom skew. That's just me being an idiot. I'll just pull that one in a minute. Um, yeah. Let's see. The next one is a Chubby's button-up shirt sold for 20% off of $33.88 plus shipping. $102.02. And we have that one. Oh. Boom. New with tags, too. A pair of Lululemon ABC pants sold for $40 plus shipping. $102.30. Probably one of my favorite items in the world. Is Luda Lemon Chino pants. An Eaton button up shirt sold for eighteen sixty six plus shipping. One oh two six four. That's an okay brand. I pick it up when it's like under five bucks. New with tags it can be worth quite a bit though. I've only found it once new with tags. Um pair of Levi's Jeans sold really quick for $22.88 plus shipping. Oh, no, sorry, 20% off of $22.88 plus shipping. Size 2930. A 10365. I forgot what I wanted to say there. Oh, I wanted to say good size. Good size. 2930. It's like the best size. Uh, Vineyard Vines shirt sold for $17 plus shipping. Pretty good for Vineyard Vines. 10396. Just a plaid button up. Uh, Royal Robins shirt sold for $11.91 plus shipping. 10418. Ben's brand only. Ooh, a Lululemon polo shirt sold for $9 plus shipping. Priced this one super cheap because the hem was coming undone. I priced it at like $15. We went back and forth and I gave it to him for nine. I think I still made like $2 on it, but it was damaged. 10434. If it's damaged, I price it cheap and I take whatever offer will just give me my money back usually. A Polo Ralph Lauren sweater sold for $15.66 plus shipping, 104.58. And we gotta go to the other room. That kid is crying. Okie dokie. You see me? Let's get you a better view here. Eh, I don't know about that view. Nah, that one's worse, actually. <laughs> Alright, that's good enough. Let's see. A Duluth Trading Co. hoodie, women's, sold for $22 plus shipping, $104.86. That's my newest rack here. Uh, a pair of Fox mountain bike shorts sold for $14 plus shipping, $104.94. An Under Armour golf shorts sold for $14 plus shipping. Slow it down a little bit. A 
a uh, Grayson polo shirt sold for $30 plus shipping. Good brand, high sell through rate. You see that Grayson? I don't know if you can see that, but it's called Grayson. A Lululemon t-shirt, new tags, sold for 20% off $49.88, so like uh, $39. 10524. Right here. A Pearl Izumi jacket, uh, like a cycling jacket, sold for $25 plus shipping. 10532. <laughs> Another Pearl Izumi jacket sold for $22.50 plus shipping. A John Barbados Henley shirt sold for 20% off of $18.88, so like $14.91 or something. Uh, $105.44. Family shirts sell fast even for uh, mid-level brands like John Barbados. A Lululemon t-shirt long sleeve sold for $22 plus shipping, 105 dollars It's a nice beautiful kind of bluish green. I think I put blue in there, but it's almost more of a green. I hope they don't get upset. A pair of Mountain Hardware pants sold for $17 plus shipping, 10552. Not the best sell through rate on Mountain Hardware pants. But if you price them appropriately, they sell within a week. A Levi's pair of Levi's jeans, these are ones that I tried on, sold immediately for 20% off of $25.88, it's so like 20 bucks plus shipping. $105.60. Levi's are awesome. Men's specifically. In the baggier cuts. And one and five oh ones. And five oh fives. Everything's good. You just gotta look up the size. A pair of Under Armour golf pants. I've been these have been flying lately. Uh sold for seventeen dollars plus shipping. One oh five six one. You can tell when the energy drinks start to kick in. That's my second one. Um an Argentina soccer jersey sold for twenty percent off of twenty six eighty eight, so like twenty one dollars. Plus shipping, 105.73. An Arcturix polo shirt sold for $39 plus shipping, 105.74. A Frank and Eileen shirt sold for 20% off of 45.88, so like. I don't know, $35 or something, plus shipping, 105.75. And it sold really fast. Everything in this room sold really fast. So you just, you just want to watch my videos and then buy the stuff that is selling out of this specific room. This is the fast room. That would be smart. A pair of L.L. Bean's pants. Uh, women's cargo. I love L.L. Bean right now, but these ones are called the Vista Camp pant. And they had a high sell through rate. Um, they sold for $18 plus shipping, 105.78. A Boy Scout shirt sold for $16.41. Now, historically, I've only been able to get around $20 for these. And so this guy accepted my offer of $16.41 off of 20 bucks. And then his car didn't work or something. So I was like, okay, I'll just cancel it and I'll relist it for like 50 bucks so no one buys it. And then I uh, just repurchase it with your new card. So I canceled the order, relisted it for 50 bucks to honor the guy's original sale. And then someone else sends me an offer for $35 for this men's small Boy Scout shirt. But I told the other guy I was going to sell it to him for $16. Um, so it was really hard to decline the $35 offer, but I did. I honored the original guy. I kind of hoped he would bail out though. 105.86. But yeah, the ones that don't have the pack, it's weird with Boy Scout stuff. The ones that are polyester and vintage, 
are usually the best ones put vented like hiking in the title or whatever and the really older older ones with the patches can be like hundreds um but the more modern ones with patches are worth less than the one modern ones with no patches it's really tricky i would say they sell so great and i find them all the time i just price them at like 25 bucks on personally me um going forward maybe 30 now now that i know that people are offering me 35 for them um but yeah just start picking them up and learn about them uh, the eddie bauer trevex blazer sold for 34 41 plus shipping pay 20 bucks for this 105.92 i priced it a little cheaper because it turned out the sleeves had been cut and like re-hemmed or whatever like shortened but it still sold super fast still made probably 10 bucks on it 105.92 i'd do it again We sold another pair of Under Armour golf pants for $18 plus shipping, 105.98. If you price these around $20, they just sell immediately right now. Oh, this actually sold. Paid like a buck for this. Um, a Pacific Whale Foundation shirt sold the same day, I guess, or uh, within two days. For fourteen dollars plus shipping. One oh six oh one. Yeah, one day. One oh six oh one. Because this is all yesterday pretty much. It had kinda like this um kind of weird dyed pattern. You can't see anything, so what's the point of showing you? It just was a cool shirt that I got for really cheap. This sold like within five minutes of listing it for twenty percent off of thirty dollars and eighty eight cents, so like twenty four bucks plus shipping. Um, it's a rain spinner Hawaiian shirt. 10609. And these also sold within like 20 minutes of listing them. A pair of cuts pants. 10619. It's just kind of like a, a basics brand that influencers promote. It's called Cuts. Can't see the logo on here, but the logo is just like a little X. Yeah, and these sold for 20% off of 55.88, so like 40 bucks or something instantly plus shipping. Yeah, and that's everything I sold. Thank you for watching. Big Gumbo. Bye.